the movie was set in France from the beginning. I had scouted Marseille about nine years ago, loved the city, thought it was really interesting, the texture, the tone, what the city represented both to France and globally, I thought was fascinating. So um, I thought I needed a French writer, and I sort of did quick homework, uh, tracked down this writer who I greatly respected from afar, admired his work, uh, specifically his collaboration with the French director, Jacques Audiard, and I called Thomas Bitt again, and it uh, turned out he at that point had a writing partner in um, Noé Debra. So um, I had a very awkward Skype with those guys, um, which is always tricky to talk about the script. And I think they, you know, they, their analysis of the script and the stage it was in at that point was very similar to mine. And uh, I flew over to Paris and spent a week with them kind of talking about where the script could go. And uh, that was it. We really hit it off. I, we had a shared aesthetic and um, idea for what the movie could be, and we set to writing it. And that was probably about a year and a half ago. There's an investigation. There's a murder. There's stakes. And then on many other levels, it starts to examine, I think, society, not just in terms of our country, but many countries, certainly France, as my collaborators would share, but like uh, how we're dealing with uh, questions uh, of race, politics, policy. Um, all, all these different things that we have, a, we had the for, you know good fortune to examine in this movie. We had to rethink how we made this movie, and I thought, wow, we really have to kind of scale back our production and rely on our individual and collective talents to pull this off. It's almost like a big independent movie, but it needs to feel and look like a big movie. And so we thought, oh wow, really, what we're doing is we're making a foreign film. It's it's as for my money, it's some of the best people in the business, sort of collaborating in terms of my team and figuring out how to do this in a way that feels uh, a little bit smaller and more um, agile in terms of the production size and then rely on our strengths. But everybody had to pitch in. So take Phil, for instance, Messina. You know, Phil's done huge movies, and sometimes he's days ahead of you on sets. I was like, Phil, you're going to be on my set every day. If, if, if something needs to be painted or moved or fixed, you're going to be there to oversee it. And, and I think we all really committed to that. And you could certainly feel it with our French team. Like, you know, our crew over there was 90% French. French. And uh, man, learning to work together, I mean, I have such great respect and admiration and flat out love for French cinema. It's been a huge inspiration to me. So to be there in that country and working with those crews and figuring out a way to kind of work together to sort of merge our systems, for lack of a better way, was a little bit tricky and challenging, but really fulfilling and fun. Um, and uh, a huge impact on the movie. I want people, as with all my movies, to be moved, to have to think, to have to consider uh, things and reconsider things. And I think ultimately one thing I'm sure about is this movie will have an emotional value. You can just feel it in the relationships between um, Bill and his daughter Allison, between Bill and Virginie, and between Bill and the young uh, girl Maya. You can feel the human connection there. So, in, that's the kind of thing you can feel on set. You can feel you're getting, but um, you know, I think as a director, as a storyteller, at least for my money, I, I want I want audiences just to get lost in the story, to be surprised, to be moved, and maybe a little bit to think uh, about who they are and, and 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 how they feel about the world and the country we live in right now. And that's it. Uh, there's not there's not a lot of judgment in this movie.